So Monsanto had to pull the high lysine corn submittal when it was being submitted to the European Union because they asked some questions and Monsanto didn't want to answer those questions. And they had originally submitted it to the Australian New Zealand board and they approved it. But I had written up about it. I interviewed Dr. Jack Heinemann, who had done a, a scathing research study about it. I summarized what he did, put it in my book. And I found this this morning when I was preparing some of the slides. I found this. I had never seen this before about the hyalysine corn withdrawal. I'm going to go to this next page. You're not going to be able to read the details. It said... European Food Safety Authority was forced to take it seriously because of concerns from a large number of European countries, including Finland and Malta. The scientific basis of the concerns were highlighted in Jeffrey Smith by Jeffrey Smith in his book, Genetic Roulette, and by Professor Jack Heinemann in his book, I Hope Not Hype. So I ended up not realizing that my book influenced the withdrawal of this very dangerous high lysine corn. Thank you very much. <laughs> I had no idea. And it describes how they had rigged their research, false assumptions, failure to offer a test results based on cooked or processed corn, fa failure to test. Monsanto, hey. Failure to test the whole GM plant and feeding trials, confusing and contradictory characterizations, fraudulent mixing of GM strains, pooling of crop data, undesirable effects in experiments, feeding trials too short, uh, changing the animal tissues, choice of an irrelevant, unrelated corn variety as the control group by comparison with the GM lines. It was the clear intention of hiding potentially serious differences. I mean, Jack Heinemann did a brilliant job of breaking it down, and then I took his, like, 300 pages of, of, of materials and brought out, like, a story. I brought out a story, and that's what the regulators in Finland and, and uh, uh, where else, Malta? No. Malta apparently read. The, the condensed version. So yeah, there's a value to taking even clear scientific evidence, but if it's hidden behind hundreds of pages, it needs to be turned into a story. So here's one story from, see, you won't remember high lysine corn. That's not, it's too, it's too vague. So I want to tell you a story to help you remember this high lysine corn. They wanted to create corn with extra levels of lysine because when you feed pigs, you have to throw lysine in the feed as well. So why don't we have the corn produce? The so they genetically engineered genes into the corn that produces the lysine. And they said that the lysine protein that's used in the corn, that's created in the corn, it has a history of safe use in the, in the human food supply because it's in soil. And we have soil residues on food, right? We have some soil residues on food. And so because there's soil residues on food and we eat those soil residues, it means it has a history of safe use and doesn't need to be tested. This is their logic. So Jack Heinemann, a brilliant scientist, decided to call their bluff and said, okay, how much, how much corn does an average male American eat? Uh, this is going to tell me how to hold the mic. Now, the, the, phone, that's not, the phone's not up. Um, if, we have, if you have an average male American, how much corn do they eat per day? And if it were Monsanto's high lysine variety, how much of that protein would they be consuming per day? How much of that protein is found in soil? How much soil would they have to consume per day for this to, to consume the same amount of high lysine protein that they would consume in the average day of corn consumption? It turns out that the average male American would have to consume in terms of the amount of soil, 22,000 pounds per second. <laughs> Back up the dump trucks and force 22,000 pounds of soil into American every second of a day, and then they would have as much of, of that protein as they would eat in a typical corn day. And this is the kind of faulty assumptions <laughs> that Monsanto uses. One of my favorites, 
because the image is so hard to get out of your mind, you know? So this is an example of the absurdity of, of Monsanto's corporate science.